Right, I just want to do a, a quick video on uh, this because I've had it now for a few weeks and I've been using it and I absolutely love it. Um, it's not a new thing. These maestros have been out for, well, I don't know, 10 years plus. Um, so anyway, a little bit about my working conditions. You may already know if you've watched any of my videos on the YouTube channel that I'm um, a, a user of a Flex SDR radio. Um, and normally when you see my live streams, you're looking at a screen like this. Um, and I love the Flex. It's all software. Um, the Flex is just basically a box, like a server. It's got antennas going into it and it's got um, basically the, the operating system of a transceiver. But the actual GUI, the, the interface, is software. So therefore, with my mouse, I can uh, change the frequency, I can expand the band. Um, yeah, so you've seen this probably a million times before on my videos. However, one of the great things about the Flex is you can use it remotely over a network. So my Flex actually lives uh, nearly 100 miles away from me. Um, and I remote into it for the sole fact that my noise floor here where I live is too high. Um, but as you can see, the noise floor um, where it is, is just over S5. Now then, that brings me back to this. So this is basically a Windows machine because with, with the operating system for the Flex, it runs on Windows. It uses a piece of software called Smart SDR, which basically means that you can use your radio remotely from anywhere in the world as long as you've got internet connection. Obviously, the, single, uh, the signal will always be transmitted from where the antenna is so it will always be located in that same place but the ability to be able to run it up on a laptop or a windows tablet or, or a pc running windows um, and use it with the simplicity as though you've actually got the radio with you but you haven't because the radio is wherever it's plugged into the aerial but there's a little bit of background. So let's take a look at this. So this, as I say, is like a Windows um, laptop, apart from obviously it's got a few knobs and it's also got a microphone attached to it. So in essence, this is a bit like having a, a standard radio in front of you. But as I say, the actual radio is 100 miles away or it could be the other side of the world. It wouldn't matter. So anyway, this is what I want to show you because I absolutely love this and I love the quality of it. Um, again, it's touchscreen, so you can move the band around and zoom in. Um, you've got uh, two receives and two transmitters, which we call slices. So for instance, I can add another slice here. Oh, I can't because I've actually got it on the Windows machine. But if I turn that off, then I can actually have two slices here. So I could be receiving and transmitting on two different frequencies um, or bands. Um, so, yeah, let's just turn the audio up. And irrelevant of what I'm doing on here, I can actually have this one receiving on a separate band. So at the moment, they're both on 20 meters, 14 point something megahertz. But on the Windows machine, you can see that I can change the band to, let's say, 10 meters. Okay, so the the receiver in Chester um, is now receiving on 10 meters. And also, at the same time, it's receiving on 20 meters. Okay, so two slices. Some of the flexes give you the ability to have up to eight slices. So the beauty of this is it's battery operated. Okay, the only lead plugged into it at the moment is the power lead. The battery that's in the back of here, when this Maestro ships, it doesn't have a battery in it. Um, it actually has a USB um, A connector that goes into a power bank. So a standard USB power bank 
which gives you the ability to, number one, swap the power supplies around. Number two, it gives you the ability to take out that power bank and charge it separately. And then if your battery actually runs out, then all you've got to do is buy a new power bank. And there's the power bank in there. Which I think is a brilliant idea. Rather than having expensive batteries specific to a manufacturer, this is an industry standard um, power bank. So moving the VFO. So really it works exactly the same way as a standard radio would work apart from without the aerials plugged in. Change the band. Really, really well built, excellent quality. Very, very poor conditions. Like zero ABG, listening 40. Mexico zero, X ray, Mexico X ray. Yeah, M zero, that is a nice signal. X ray, Mexico X ray. 59 plus plus, my name's Andy. We're in the county of Suffolk. Uh, near Sidewell, back to you. Yeah, Roger Andy, I don't know whether I spoke to you the other day actually. Uh, the name's Mike, uh, call sign M0XMX. I'm located in Burton on Trent, uh, but I'm actually uh, remoting into a flex radio which is located uh, just outside Chester. And I'm currently using uh, a Maestro, uh, just trying it out, just doing a little video for YouTube. Um, yeah, I think I worked you recently because. Uh, I think I remember telling you that my dad was contracts manager at Sizewell B and uh, he was responsible for all of, all of the cladding on the uh, blue buildings and the white dome over. Yeah, hello Mike, yeah, trust you well, you're coming in really well, you're 59 plus plus with me Mike, yeah I do remember. The, the bands were good earlier Mike and they've just gone completely flat, I don't know if you've had uh, some solar activity or whatever but uh, brilliant earlier on but uh, naff now, back to you Mike. Yeah, all copy there, Andy. I won't keep it because I'm just doing a short video just demonstrating this uh, maestro. But yeah, thanks very much um, for calling out and thanks for allowing me to come back and talk to you. And uh, I wish you 7-3, farewell, and uh, have a great weekend from M0XMX, over. Yeah, thank you, Mike. You're really well. You're 15 over, so no problem to copy you whatsoever. I'm using the 5,400 watts and the good old NFED. 7-3, is Mike. Have a great weekend. Yeah, thanks, Andy. You peaked uh, 20 dB over 9 on that last over. Thanks a lot. Take care. Bye-bye. Yeah, sounds very like anyone else around. 640, Mike Zero, ABG listening. And there you go. It's that easy. Um, so, yeah, hopefully you enjoyed that little video. As I say, there's nothing new about the Maestro. It's just the fact that I've just got one. And, and I absolutely love it. So, uh, yeah, thanks very much for watching. And if you do like videos like this, check out some of the other videos on the YouTube channel. Bye for now.